calibration of a thermometer. The calibration of a thermometer involves the marking of two fixed points on the stem of the thermometer and dividing the interval between them into a number of equal parts. The two fixed points are called lower fixed point and upper fixed point. The melting point of pure ice at one atmospheric pressure is called the lower fixed point or ice point and the boiling point of pure water at one atmospheric pressure is called the upper fixed point or the steam point. Let us see how the lower fixed point is marked on a thermometer. The thermometer, which is to be calibrated, is placed in a funnel surrounded by crushed ice. The bulb of the thermometer is completely immersed in ice. A beaker is kept below the funnel to collect the dripping water. Observe that the level of mercury is dropping. This is because the mercury starts contracting. After some time, the mercury stops contracting and the mercury meniscus remains stationary. This indicates that the ice is melting. The position of the meniscus is marked on the stem of the thermometer with the help of a file and that point is marked as 0 degree Celsius. This position gives the lower fixed point or ice point. Now let us see how the upper fixed point is marked on the stem. The apparatus used to mark the upper fixed point is known as the hypsometer. Hypsometer is a double-walled copper vessel having two side tubes, one for the steam to escape and the other for a manometer. The manometer indicates the difference in the pressure inside the chamber and the atmosphere. The thermometer to be calibrated is inserted inside the hypsometer through the cork at the top such that the bulb of the thermometer remains above the surface of the water in it. The water is boiled and the steam produced passes up through the inner chambers and descends down through the outer section as indicated by the arrows. The bulb is surrounded with pure steam at atmospheric pressure. When the mercury meniscus in the thermometer remains stationary for a sufficiently long time, a sharp cut is made at that point with the help of a file and that point is marked as 100 degrees Celsius. This is the upper fixed point or the steam point. Care is taken to see that the pressure of steam inside the hypsometer is the same as the normal atmospheric pressure. After marking the two fixed or standard points, the thermometer is dipped in molten wax and then taken out. A thin layer of wax gets deposited on it. With the help of a sharp needle, the wax deposited on the fixed points is removed. The space between the fixed points is divided into 100 equal divisions. The wax from these points is removed. The thermometer is dipped in hydrofluoric acid for a few minutes. The acid reacts with the exposed glass surface. However, the part of the thermometer which is wax coated remains unaffected. The thermometer is removed from the acid and then washed with water.
The wax is now scrubbed off. The etchings are then filled with paint for clarity. This calibrated thermometer is ready for use.